What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I'd like to give you guys some Atlanta Falcons news, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content, hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. Uh, if you would like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, you can hit that tab uh, here on the channel. And if you would like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, uh, which is the dollar sign Jew Talk Sports. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So today in Atlanta Falcons news, uh, the Atlanta Falcons have signed offensive lineman Ethan Greenwich. Uh, he formerly played with the New Orleans Saints. Um, he is an offensive tackle. Um, he played his college ball. Uh, at the University of Villanova. Uh, he goes about 6'4", 335 pounds. Um, so I definitely think that this is a pretty solid pickup uh, by Terry Fontenot. I do believe that um, Ethan Greenwich is being brought in basically to add depth to this Atlanta Falcons uh, team because we lost a few offensive linemen uh, in free agency. We lost Chuma Idoka. We lost Elijah Wilkerson. Uh, both of those guys signed with other teams this offseason. So we had to add more depth uh, to this Atlanta Falcons roster on our offensive line. And I definitely think that he's going to add that depth. I'm not too sure if he's able to play multiple positions and maybe possibly play that left guard position. Uh, but mainly I think he's being brought in to be like a swing tackle and just add more depth to this team. Now with his size at 6'4", 335 pounds, because we're a team that likes to run the football, he definitely sounds like a very big body and a guy that can possibly use uh, be used as, as a road grader, uh, similar to like a Caleb McGarry, similar to the guys that we currently have on our offensive line. Uh, but I definitely think uh, uh, that this is a depth uh, move by Atlanta Falcons. Um, but also today um, in Atlanta Falcons news, uh, the Falcons uh, have welcomed back their players for voluntary workouts. And I did see uh, on Twitter, a couple of the players are back at the facility. Uh, they show Kyle Pitts uh, who looked pretty healthy going back uh, into the building, coming back from that knee injury. So hopefully he can come back to 100% this season. I seen uh, Desmond Ritter, who is the starting quarterback for Atlanta Falcons this season, also at the voluntary workouts. I seen guys like Grady Jarrett and AJ Terrell also in the building or going into the building. So it's a great time to be an Atlanta Falcons fan um, because we're edging closer and closer to the start of football season as we enter into the spring and into the summertime. And I definitely think that this is great um, to see a lot of the a lot of the leaders of this Atlanta Falcons team as far as these players that's at voluntary workouts. Uh, being that we had a lot of turnover on our roster, we brought in a lot of guys, Calais Campbell, um, all of the guys that we recently brought in. This is going to be huge for this Atlanta Falcons team at voluntary workouts and um, the mandatory workouts and the training camp and all of that, this is going to give these guys that time uh, to build that chemistry because we got a lot of new players coming in, plus we adding them to the current structure and the core pieces that we already had, like the A.J. Terrells and the Grady Jarrett, who's the leaders of this team, uh, the Desmond Ritters. This gives them time to go ahead and start building that chemistry and camaraderie, building that trust with the new guys that we've added to the roster. So I really think that this is going to be huge for our Atlanta Falcons as far as the new guys and the guys that we've brought in, that these guys are starting to get to get get uh, start to get familiar with each other, not just on the football field, but outside of, um, off, outside of football and off of the field. So being able to go in, you know, lift weights with each other, get to know each other off the field, get to know each other's families and things of that nature, I really think that that's huge. Um, in the game of football and on any sports team to actually build that camaraderie and get to know your brothers on and off the field. So I definitely think that this is um, something to look forward to as we continue to head towards the season and towards the draft. Um, seeing a lot of these guys have voluntary workouts to me is huge. Uh, but with that being said, you guys, let me know what you think of uh, the signing of Ethan uh, Greenwich. Let me know what you think of these guys being back uh, in the building for voluntary workouts. I really think that this is going to be a really solid Atlanta Falcons roster and going to be one of the better Atlanta Falcons teams that we've seen in the last couple seasons. But with that being said, 
I have a lot more content coming for you guys. But as always, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed, peace.